Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a very special video. A 2019 RAV4 started having an interesting issue. Passenger side mirror started flashing the, the blind spot uh, warning but like very dim flashing like something not right. You could you could definitely tell something not right and the blind spot monitor wasn't working. I went ahead and scanned the codes and I found one hard code which I'm gonna show right here. This is the code that my scan tool read. There is a short to battery somewhere, short to battery power somewhere on that wire that's going to that indicator. Or maybe the problem is within the indicator itself or maybe it's the blind spot module uh, or rather blind spot sensor. So I went ahead and started checking. Here's our code. It's a C1AB1. Short to positive battery in outer mirror indicator slave. It's a slave indicator because it's not on the driver's side, it's on the passenger side. I guess that's why they call it a slave. Uh, this DTC is stored when the blind spot monitor sensor on the right side detects a short to battery in the outer rear view mirror indicator. So I guess you can read all of that yourself. I'm not going to read it all. There is a small diagram of this specific circuit. So there is the indicator, plus or minus, blah, blah, blah. And there is this uh, sensor. Oh, this wire is shorted to positive somewhere. Now we move on to the diagram, to the wiring diagram. And uh, we find out where. There is a bunch of information in Pro Demand about this. I usually don't use all of this information because uh, I know I can do it quicker than following all of these steps. Uh, I just uh, do what I already know and uh, it tends to be quicker. But yeah, here's all of these uh, steps. Pretty much, if you don't know what you're doing and follow these steps, you will probably find it. But it's gonna take you a lot of time. So, it still took me a lot of time, but not as much time as it would if I, if I followed all of this. But it gives you a general idea uh, where to look. It's got the trouble area description here. This is really, really good to have. You know exactly where to look. Here's our wiring diagram for, this, for the blind spot monitoring system. Uh, it's really not that big of a diagram. I was expecting a lot more wires here. But anyway, here's what's happening. So this red wire right here, I highlighted it turns orange there but it doesn't matter uh, there's a connection here obviously there's one more connection here at this point this is the sensor that's the one uh, behind the rear bumper sorry so that sensor has this wire this is like a signal wire going to a positive wire going to that uh, LED circuit. There is like a small circuit in that uh, indicator. And then it's also grounded somewhere. So this positive wire is shorted to positive somewhere. So I went ahead and took apart a lot of car to find out what's going on. Here's our car. It's a 2019 RAV4 XLE model. This is the right side blind spot sensor. So I pulled out this plug here and checked the red wire. It was three 
5.6 volts in there. When the connector was disconnected, the indicator, which is this, was also disconnected. It is normally connected to this, to this wire right here. So that was disconnected, the module was disconnected, there is nothing else in between other than wire. And there was still voltage there. So this is when I realized that it's the wire somewhere. Started digging up, found where this harness, this door harness is going to. It goes right here into this. Basically, this is the right side kick panel. All, all I need to do to access that is just pull this, pull this cover. So I did that. And then I noticed some water right like right here on these connectors. There's probably a lot of water on the floor. There is some, but not much. I would be I would be alright with this amount of water on the floor, given that this has not a really nice uh, floor mat. It's an original Toyota floor mat, but what it really needs is the weather tech. I'm not uh, advertising weather tech, but it's a much better option. So I found this. Pretty hard to believe. It's a five-year-old car, and it already has corrosion on the terminal inside there as well it's pretty bad it's still salvageable I can still clean it up and uh, make it work it's gonna take some fine digging I gotta open this uh, connector pull out the pins clean them all out nicely it's gonna be a while also I'm gonna check all the other connectors there might be issues there because the water was like all over this place and these are inside internal connectors they don't have any weatherproofing this is like all inside the car this should not be happening and there is this cover here so i don't even know how it got there like oh this car has a sunroof so i'm gonna be checking the drains it may be the drains somewhere there may be a drain somewhere going going somewhere here and or maybe from the roof well I don't see any I'm not seeing any stains on this oh actually there is a couple stains here I don't know what that is uh, I guess it's gonna have to be checked well it's gonna be fun this is my experience with this problem uh, if you like it please like if you don't like it please dislike if you like what I'm doing please subscribe if you don't like what I'm doing, don't subscribe. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions, please down in the comments. I will answer all your questions. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.